and published chapter in Japanese history. In 1874, Samuel Damon, on the other hand, went to Japan in order to obtain an interview with Manjiro. It was since Manjiro made him a visit in 1860 on his way back from San Francisco on the Candy Mud. Since then, the both of his deaths were current. He commenced his inquiry for Manjiro when first standing in Nagasaki and continued visiting Kobe, Osaka, Kyoto, and Yokohama. And at last in Tokyo. Through Zuta Sen, he was fortunate enough to obtain an interview with an old friend of Manjiro. He remarked that he had been half dead, but was now in good health. He was able to repeat interviews with Nakahama Manjito, once direct Sarah Boy, the successful adventure in returning to his native uh, native land, and translator of Baurichi's navigator. He taught at an English school for two years, which became Tokyo University. He is now about 60 years. As soon as Samuel Demer returned to Honolulu, he published a special edition of the friend about Nakahama Manjiro, titled Unpublished Chapter of Japanese, of Japanese History. Father Demer, however, was taken ill and passed away on February 7, 1885. Satisfied with the happy reunion, Captain Whitfield died at his residence in Oxford Bridge in February 1886, in his 82nd year. Meanwhile, the John Howland, which rescued Manjiro and four other fishermen of Tosa, had got nipped in the eyes and was apparently off Point Hope in the acrylic in 1883. As the dawn of the cultural intercourse between Japan and the United States, Manjiro played a role of historical importance in the opening and modernization of Japan. In later years, he lived a life of devotion of a devotionist who had forgotten to carry out the devolution, half dead in both mind and body. The Meiji government was not wise enough to find a suitable post for such a democratic man as Manjiro. Manjiro has been ignored in the traditional history of Japan and up to now. Most Japanese historians have missed the importance of Manjiro. However, the United States of America, a democracy 
didn't for God, didn't forget him. In 1976, an uh, exhibition was held, a commemoration of the <clears throat> bicentennial celebration of the independence of the United States of America. As a National Portrait Gallery, Smithsonian Institution, Washington, D.C. for the exhibition, 29 people were chosen amongst thousands of visitors to the United States between the years 1776 to 1914. Of the 29 people selected two were Japanese. One was the first Japanese mission to the United States, and the other was John Manchot. 